about to show y'all this new airpod max method that made me 100k and yes these bills are real it will look like this once you unwrap it it'll look like this so that i just took it out this is how they look comes with the charger now we got the actual airpod max this is basically how they look if you want to know how these guys are making so much money to the point where they can afford supercars lavish vacations around the world and providing for their families all while not having to work a regular nine to five job then stay tuned to the channel because we're going to be breaking down all these different methods over the next few months leading into the holiday season i'll never have to drop 100k is not a lot i'm rich as hell at the top you're just poor you're not a op i'm gonna show y'all how to make 100k this christmas and no this is not fake so slow down the video and see if every bill is real because i promise you we don't do fake shit around here the product behind me these are airpod maxes you could get these for 50 dollars and resell them for 250 plus i also got these ps5s you can get these for 100 dollars and resell them for 400 plus i got more airpod maxes and essentials babe freaking purple jeans i even got chrome hearts also got stuff like goyard wallets cologne and even iphones airpods and freaking ipad but basically i get these products for the low and sell them for the high my manufacturer is u.s based for most of the products that i showed you so the shipping is gonna come in like two to three days this is the real duke royce the tiktoker who's made a name for himself through controversial posts like this i'm not gonna lie whoever said money don't buy happiness is capping Many would say he was probably just born into an upper-class household, maybe with a father who made it big in the city as a real estate agent back in the day, etc, etc. But don't be too quick to write off these guys as just another rich kid with daddy's money. A lot of these guys actually grew up poor and in very rough conditions, rough neighborhoods with high crime and unemployment rates, which is why they have so much ambition today. It's all right, guys. While your girl's out there partying and having a good time with her friends and her friends telling her, it's okay, girl. Just have a little fun. Us young ends are out here making that paper. Now, it's actually pretty simple. And there's a multitude of different methods that we use in combination with one another to sustain our lifestyles. You can't just do one thing and expect to make a whole bunch of money every single day. That's not how it works. The money is being funneled through multiple sources of income. Okay, so for instance, reselling one-to-one -one products has become a gold mine in recent years. Now, if you haven't even made $1,000 yet off fake hoodies, AirPods, etc., I honestly don't even know what you're doing, okay? Because you've been hearing so many people talk about it, yet you've, you haven't even got started yet. So you only have yourself to blame. Like, I don't just tell you guys this for fun. Like, I actually want you to go make, start a business and go make some money. You don't gotta go the, the one to one product, the fake clothing product route. You don't gotta do all that, okay? You can go a whole new route with it. You can actually start a legitimate clothing line and you know push that instead of you know trying to resell fake products a lot of people are trying to do that but obviously that's hard to actually you know break into a lot of guys are making money on social media simply just by posting interesting content okay and you can even incorporate your reselling ventures into your social media content to boost sales on your products all you really got to do is just make interesting videos and get people's attention and that's literally it that's all social media is now another thing i wanted to touch on is cologne and perfume resellers okay now a lot of y'all have been making insane profits and it's actually it's actually such a good replica product to resell because most people will never even really be able to tell the difference between an authentic bottle of dior sauvage and a fake bottle okay just for example the plus side is the smell is so identical is that it's almost not even really worth it for most people to even pay the extra you know a couple hundred dollars for the authentic product especially if you're broke however i would never recommend buying fake products just go with a cheaper brand or an alternative that still has that quality standard because with these fake bottles i mean the scent just fades so quickly you don't want to be wearing fake cologne first off but if you're going to go the reselling route i mean i guess it is a good product to be reselling because the the profit margins it's just insane but the main reason why some resellers are more successful than others is simply just it comes down to marketing that's really all it is if the next guy has a better marketing strategy he's going to get more sales he's going to make more money that's just how business works okay you have to get eyeballs on your products no matter how you go about doing it it really doesn't even matter to be honest because even if people don't like you even if people don't like your, your product if you get it in their face enough eventually gonna they're going to check it out they might even become a buyer if you convince them enough so it's all about marketing. If you're wondering like, okay, how should I even really get started if I want to, you know, get rich like Duke and make thousands of dollars off reselling and social media? You have to just get started. It's literally just that simple. Too many guys just procrastinate all day long and they never even get started. They never end up getting anything done. So that's why I said there's, there's really no competition out here, especially if you know what you're doing and you have a plan. So here's what I would do if I had to start all over again from scratch 
in the reselling game. First off, I would start by identifying a product that I can resell for a high profit margin. After I found that product, I would buy that product and go create content with it. And then I would pay TikTok. I'll go a step further. I pay TikTok to promote my product, to promote my content. Then at that point, you could really go either way you want with it. You can either go the drop shipping route through Shopify, which does have startup costs, but it is the most popular, most efficient way of doing this. Or you can go the inventory route where you keep inventory in your house and you ship out orders yourself through your own website, which basically just ensures that you're keeping 100% profits. But obviously, you know, it's a lot more work. You need a car to be able to ship out packages. You got to take them to the post office and ship them out yourself. Whereas with the drop shipping method, you literally don't even have to leave your bedroom. So it really just depends on, you know, how you want to go about it. If you're lazy, just do the drop shipping route. It's super simple. But if you want to kind of feel like you're running a small business, you can kind of keep inventory and just ship them out yourself and, you know, just do the whole social media marketing and just let the algorithm, you know, market for you. But you want to be careful not to overdo it. You don't want to be sitting on a stockpile of fake Apple headphones that you can't sell. And you also don't want to get yourself into any legality issues because you are selling, you know, you're selling fraudulent uh, one-to-one products. It's not very legal, but... um you know, if you're doing it at a small scale, they probably don't care. But once you start making a lot of money doing this, uh, you definitely want to be careful. 